Dost thou not weary of thy grace? Dear patient Mother Earth, upon thy breast, how are they heaped from farthest east to west? From the dim north, where the wild storm wind raves, over the cold surge that chills the shore it laves, to sunlit isles by softer seas caressed, where roses bloom always in songbirds' nests. How thick they lie like flocks upon the waves. There is no mountain top so far and high, no desert so remote, no, no, no vale so deep, no, no spot, spot by man so long untenanted. The pale moon, slow marching up the sky, sees over some lone grave the shadows creep. O oh, earth, art thou not weary of thy death? more could anyone want? It's a lovely view, isn't it? Beautiful. I come by here quite often, actually. Mm, it's a favourite spot of mine, too. I find solace here in nature. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> what is? You know, coming to a place like this when you're feeling lonely certainly makes me feel very small sometimes like looking into the void. Well, haven't you ever sat at home and stared at the wall, thinking of somewhere better, a bit warmer, sunnier? Well, when I feel like that, I'd much rather be here. I know it's not much, but I do my staring looking at the sky, not at a wall or, or the goggle box or one of those eye patches. I find company in looking at a good view and fresh air. I admire your stoicism. What brings you here? My son. Your son? He loved the sea, surfing. He was a very good surfer, lived for it. One beach in Cornwall he always went to. Name escapes me now. He was always down there, every weekend in the summer. Came here once. Not exactly a surfing beach though, is it? <laughs> Even I could tell you that. He liked the challenge. He was always looking for the next one. He asked me if I would join him for a bit as it was nearby and, well, I was free, so I said I'd join him later. At one point I thought he might have seen me. I thought he had come straight to shore. like tiny holes in a thick, dark blanket. Little pinpricks of light shine through. Some of them get bigger. Some of them are just forgotten about. Just things, some good, some bad. Out of nowhere, out of the emptiness. Acts of God or nature? Depends on your belief, I suppose. 
the way of things, the way we all go. Beautiful, terrifying. Perhaps it was nature's way of saying he'd lived his life. At 25? Does it help knowing that he did what he loved? Maybe he was going back, was on his way to his original place. We all go there eventually. What do you mean? To wherever we were before. Perhaps he didn't have time to say goodbye. But then, like most of us, he didn't know he was going. I am sure that even though he's no longer with us, you can still find him. How? I wouldn't know. You have to look. I know what it is to lose someone. I understand the pain and the emptiness of grief. But I can look at a child playing in the sand and I see the future. That's what makes me happy. Watching a new generation. The promise of what is to come. Sitting here, it's as if the future and the past meet each other. They sit side by side. Just like we are doing right now. Well, I guess you'll be going. Thank you. What for? Well, for letting me ramble on a bit. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. I'll be seeing you. It was lovely to have met you. Thank you.